I watched the movie here in uh, in Texas with my mom. Yeah. And my mom hated it. <laughs> my mom has zero imagination. This lady is. Everybody, we're back. Indian Cinema Tuesday coming at you again, because uh, that's what we do now, Indian Cinema Tuesdays. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming back. Thanks for liking and subscribing. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe like the over uh, oversaturated monitor behind us says. <laughs> uh, if you guys don't know, I'm obviously I said we'd be back into our regular cadence, but I forgot to mention that I wouldn't actually be in my regular space. I'm actually back home in Texas. Uh, I had to come home for a little bit, so... Hey, you know, we're just uh, we're just keeping it in. But Ed had an interesting question because I'm not sure if you guys would listen to the Guardians review, so I'm gonna post it here. Do you guys even care what's behind us? Are you just interested <laughs> in the in the discussions? Because you know, hey, we we you know we spent a good amount of money on us. Ed spent way more money. Uh, I put mine together for like forty bucks. I, I just Ed spent <laughs> like way more. Yeah, Ed's, I just want to point this. Out. This I would have had this set up regardless of the podcast because yeah, I'm a yeah. fucking nerd child. Hoarder. So you know, hoarder, and, you're hoarder, a and a hoarder. hoarder. You're a hoarder. hoarder. But I'm putting it to you. you have, I'm a, a useful hoarder. I'm a resource hoarder. You have hoarder. a storage unit full of stuff? No, I actually don't. They're all on the balcony. <laughs> it just, I have six tubs of just Crap. stuff. Just nonsensical just stuff. He always, he's always sending me pictures of stuff that I'm, I literally reply to him, do you need that? And then he doesn't respond. Um, typical. <laughs> um, By the way, I'm a big, all that stuff, but I just, just to defend myself a little. It won't matter. He's going to say it's going to be collectible or correct. something. Correct. It's all, but it's all collectibles from like when I was like seven years old. And like as a collect, I'm sure oh. there's some nerds, Indian nerds here for, or not just Indian nerds, but like <laughs> our Indian audience, sorry, our Indian audience that we have here, like for our shows that like, no, maybe, uh, if you love Power Rangers, I love Power Rangers. I have a shit ton of Power Rangers stuff and I'm not going to let them go because it's my childhood. Uh, shout out to anybody who loves Power Rangers. Let me know if you love wait, Power Rangers. Wait, uh, d- d- ask the audience. Did, did you guys have a version of Power Rangers there? Was it like... Oh, that's a great question. Was it the Japanese version? Did you have the American version? There might be a translated, or, uh, you know, a, tra- a dub is version. Is there an Indian version of the Power Rangers? I'd like to watch that. They had an Indian version of the, of Spider-Man. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Spider-Man I'm just India. shit on yes. TikTok. Spider-Man uh, India, he will be in... Um, no shit. Spider-verse? He will be in, into the Spider Verse or I saw that Spider Verse. Uh, that was fun. And one of our one of our very very loyal subscribers comments on almost every video. Thank has you. his picture is Spider Man India. No. Shout out to you. I can't remember your name. I'll look it up while Ed's talking about the movie, and it, it's on him. I don't want to look I off love screen, that. but uh, I'll look it up and I'll, I'll do my best to find your name. Uh, but shout out to you, man. And uh, I, I'm so we're so excited for that movie. Uh, by the way, hey, I'm. Here's a question. Should we watch that and like let's comment on it? I think that'd be pretty sweet. I've never seen it. That'd be really You've never cool. seen Spider Man India? No. Have you? No, I don't think that's a show. I he, he Spider Man, I think the first that's live like, action we'll we'll ever see is in the Spider Verse movie. So what it what is what is that? What it's just it's like a, a comic book. Oh, it's a comic book. I think Wait it's a, a comic minute. book. I swear I saw like hmm, maybe that was an Indian uh Spider Man though. I saw I saw a very old uh, from like the eighties or seventies, like was it a TV show? Bad Spider Man that but was, was it, played by I swear it was an Indian person, as uh, some Asian I think. So maybe I'm wait, wrong. It wasn't. I think you're thinking of Spider Man Japan. No, no, it, no, it wasn't that one. It was another one than that. I know that one. There was another one I saw. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys correct me. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I swear I saw something. Is there we'll something see. we can watch? We'll can we watch a Spider Man Indian would be cartoon? So dope, and I would be so down. That's show all movie. Let us know in the comments. Let us know. Let us know. Uh, anyway, that's not what we're talking about today. We got very, very sidetracked. Review starts here. Well, I'll put a, I'll put a thing in the description or oh, whatever. Sorry. We have a five minute uh, opener now. That's yeah, how we do. It we always here. have a five minute opener. It's just, it's never ending for us. Um, we got to stop talking. Anyway, as my screen goes off behind me, that was reminding you to subscribe. Now it's a bridge. Enjoy the bridge. Um, but, and now it's a balloon. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, today we are talking about the lunchbox it was the number one voted on our youtube poll uh the, this one's been ed in the comments for oh, a long time and i've it's seen just it. it hasn't gotten its due yet because other films like barfy or uh undo don don <laughs> that wrong have have beaten it uh out uh tie and this one was close guys 36 percent went to the lunchbox 35 percent went to uh dongle which yes. is a, an which is an Amir Khan, but we're not talking about Amir Khan. No, we're talking about 
Ifron Khan. Uh, if correct. Irfron Khan. I think Irfran, I got it right. Me, yes, I think you got it right. Khan, you got it right. Dude, uh, in yeah. the, the lunchbox. I'm getting better, guys. I'm you getting better. You got it, bro. Um, so we're talking about Efron Khan in the lunchbox. Um, it's a 2013. Um, I want to. I'm, I'm going to call it a drama, romantic drama, is what I'm going to call I it. You're, I think you're on that. Um, yeah, we'll say a drama. Yeah, Efron plays uh, Sajan Fernandez. He is a man who is coming soon up on retiring, and who suddenly, all of us, uh, out of nowhere, gets the wrong lunchbox service. Uh, the lunchbox that is supposed to be going to this woman's husband the woman is named Ela. uh Isla? Ela? but I think it's Ela. yeah Ela. I think I got that right Ela. uh the woman Ela, um played by Nimrat Carr sorry again if I did not uh say that right um but this lunchbox goes to him instead he really likes the food it comes back to her and all the food is gone and she's surprised because it's supposed to go to her no good piece of shit husband and it doesn't <laughs> Um, and essentially, uh, letters start to be exchanged because she thinks it's going to her husband. Uh, and then she finds out that, wait a minute, th there, there's been a mistake. Oh, no, no, so no. So she sends a letter and says, thank you for eating all the food. And he replies with a very, very hilarious note that just says, <laughs> dear Isla, the food was a little salty today, <laughs> which Love was that. really funny. And then it's, it starts to kick off notes, come back and forth. And it continues for the next 30 days until he retires. Um, so, Ed, I will go to you first. Oh, what you. did you think of the lunchbox? Keep in mind, we watched the greatest love story ever put to film last week in Barfy. <laughs> so what did you think of the lunchbox? Since you brought up Barfy, overall, I would say not that I, rankings matter, fuck rankings, but just as a point <laughs> of reference. <laughs> just as a point of reference, because for our audience, okay. you know, there, there's a bit of a, a threat. Oh, yeah, here. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will say overall, I think uh, I liked uh, Barfy more. I don't think it, the Thrones Barfy. That being said, I loved, love this movie. It's so fantastic. And this is, there's one aspect of the movie that I think it, 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 it harpoons on and it does better than almost any other film. And that it's the, it, it, it's, it's subtlety. And yes. I would say that it, this movie has the art of subtlety so in its own core and well done all it uses it to exemplify what it's all about and what i mean by subtlety is it's it's such a quiet movie it's unfantastical there's no big pop and circumstance of, of any sort that you would typically find in a movie like even in a classical sense like typically movies are there to sort of use magic to sort of really like show you a different world and a different way of looking at things no this is a movie yeah. about life and it's it's full on just about like trying to make it feel like life and i i think it's beautiful i think it was yeah. amazing the way it made you feel so like just this is this is real this is like almost real you're just yes. it's like a camera's just set up in a room static the almost the whole time and you're just watching people be people and they yes. let the they let the 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 performances shine i just it's such a different opposite end kind of movie from what even indian some especially indian cinema indian, is typically yeah. about and it's just wonderful. I'm so glad we have a movie now on the opposite end of the spectrum yes. to show yet again why it does like it's like I don't want to even call Indian cinema Indian cinema anymore. It's just in, it's just cinema. It's just filmmaking. And this, this I, I'm glad I can put this little stopper at the end now of like, wow, this is just a phenomenal, grounded, minimal, beautifully shot, acted film that is just so about the human experience, about about you know, growing up and settling and dealing with consequences. I, yeah, I love, I just fell, I fell in love with this movie in such a different way, even than Barfi. And although you're right, they're like very similar. It's essentially about love and life and, and well, it does it in such a different way. And I loved it. Yes. So, yes. So uh, I, I'm going to pick up right where you left off. Go for it. It's, it's almost the exact opposite of Barfi, but yes. telling almost the same story about love and, you know, um, love and acceptance and all that stuff. And, yeah, I, 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 I agree with you, man. This was another, just another great movie. And I want to, I want to give a shout out to one of our uh, followers. Um, he's on Instagram. Guys, if you're ever on Instagram, you ever want to send us a message, we'll read him. We'll respond to him. I promise. But uh, this Instagram is just Abishi. I, Abishi. Uh, you know who you are. But he said to us he, when we, when we announced that 
uh, Lunchbox said one. He said it's a great slice of life movie, and I'm gonna quote him because that's exactly what this movie is. Uh -huh. It's a fantastic slice of life movie. It is, you know, again, there's nothing you you. I don't really know what to say because you hit it so well, dude, with your your summation of the film. There's nothing fantastical about this movie. Every shot is pretty much set, and that's it. It is a set shot on a tripod. There you go. No movement, really no big grand cinematography, and he doesn't need any of that. It's anchored down by two fantastic performances of people who are somewhat, the story is the same. They have this this story of sadness, but right. in different ways. Like, you know, uh, Ifron lost his his wife um, through uh, sickness, but she's lost her husband through... <laughs> Infidelity. unfaithfulness infidelity yeah. there's a better way to put it yeah much better with the words than i am anyway uh yes it, 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 and like they connect in this like very sweet way and then there's this very 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 sweet charming side character sink and i just really loved his role in the movie as well because he kind of he kind of gets to watch how this very hardened man who's very rough around the edges and really doesn't want to be part of anybody's lives <laughs> kind of accept somebody yeah and they accept somebody that's very very different because you're talking, about, you're talking about shake right you're talking about shake yeah. okay yeah yeah. Just, yeah how he accepts him and like you know takes him under his wing and kind of like saves his career um and i yeah the movie was just such a nice charming story uh i uh i i want to start with let's start at the end what okay. did you think of the ending I love that you started with that. I really yeah. do because I was thinking about that ending right after it. So, uh, really quick wrap up: like the, it ends on a bit of a ambiguity, right? So yeah. we see Sa Sa Sajan, right? Sajan, yes. Sorry, Sajan, Mr. Fernandez. He, he's Mr. Fernandez. He's supposed to be going to Nashik because that's where he's promised himself that he would always retire and live the rest of his life. But we find out that he sort of uh, maybe changed. He made he, not maybe he changes his mind. And not only that, perhaps that he's trying to figure out where uh, Ela lives. And and at the same time, Ela and her daughter, she writes a letter to him that he doesn't read. He he well, hasn't the, read, or does he read it? He, he, no, she's debating whether to send it or she's not. She's debating where to send. It. So yeah, so he hasn't. Yes. Read, he's not going to read it, as far as we right, know. Right, right. He will never. It's not a note that we know he will actually read. That right, right, right. confesses that she's going. To, she's made a decision to leave with her daughter, and that's where the film ends. And uh, when that moment happened, when it cut to black, I was like, yes. I was like, yes, do not give us the satisfaction of like yeah. of that yeah. because like that's not real life, right? I didn't yes. want that. I didn't want that fantastical ending of knowing. If they had a happy ending, but here's what's beautiful about that. It's still a happy ending because yes. they make their decisions. They make their decisions to change their, their life. lives in the way that yeah. they wanted to. Yeah. And so I love that ending. That's all I have to yes. say. That's because yes. it, it gets to the point of what it really is about. It isn't about whether or not it honestly, on one end, it's not really a love story. I, I wouldn't call it a love story because yeah. it's more a, it's just a drama. It's not about whether or not they weren't really trying to find love. They were trying to find their way out their of life. what their life was. That's yes. what they were trying to find out. And so they make that decision and that's what happens. So as in my point of view, I love the way it ends there. I could imagine that maybe some people were a little frustrated. Yeah. What, did you I, like it? What did you do? Did you were you part of that camp? What did well, you it's think? funny. I, I loved it, um, okay, but cool. I, I watched the movie here in, uh, in Texas with my mom yeah. and my mom hated it. My mom has no, my mom has no, she didn't like the ending. She liked the story. She didn't like the ending. Oh, um, Mama Bastrana. My mom has zero imagination. This lady is the uh, driest <laughs> bread you've ever met in your life, you know? Just like, uh, straight, and like give it to me straight. Just like, no fucking, imagination. What I'm going to see on the screen is what happens. Yes, yeah, this this lady is the sole reason I love movies because I she took me to all of them. But she fell asleep, I think, in every movie that she ever took me to. Uh, oh my god she fell asleep in spider-man one and spider-man she was snoring in spider-man too loud i like, fuck up lady you can't embarrass me that this is so weird i'm not gonna oh boy. Dude, this is like god every single time we learn something new about each other my mom is also the same reason that i like i attribute my my sort of intro at least to movies because i wouldn't call her a cinephile but she oh, was yeah. the one to take me to movies when i was a child she'd always that's like the thing we would do 
and we yeah. buy DVDs and watch it together. Yeah. Like, yeah. she really is like the biggest reason I even got into movies too. So yeah. nowadays she doesn't care. Like, I don't watch movies with her anymore. She doesn't care about movies anymore. Oh yeah, I, so I try not reason, to watch them like, with she, I think she would fall. Yeah. yeah, she fall asleep. Yeah, know, it's just it's, it's the parallel. It's, it's there. funny. Yeah, yeah. 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 My mom. Again. Like, I got to that. my mom. Kudos to my mom. Absolutely. No matter what was going on, I was, I'm single, single parent household here. So yeah. no matter what was going on. My mom always found money to take me to movies, always found money to buy me DVDs, always found the time to take me on Friday nights to rent a movie. Always. Always. You said single parent? Yeah, just my mom. Are you, are they divorced? My mom and dad, yeah. Oh, I fuck. My my parents are divorced too. I did what the I fuck? I thought you knew that. But, no, but I didn't wait, know you're that. doing that in your life. My dad. Yeah, yeah. He's he's he gone. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Back to Puerto Rico, maybe. I don't know. That's weird. Uh, well, I'm not. Anyway. No, I didn't. I didn't know that. Sorry. I didn't, maybe yeah. you mentioned uh -oh. that before. I don't. I didn't. Okay. Anyway, anyway. it's okay. I don't. Anyway, anyway. Yeah. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So like, I. I. Uh. I, yeah. The ending. Back to that. I. Yeah. I really did like the ending because I think it's solidified to me. Again, I. I. I we're gonna sound like a broken record because I'm repeating the same things you are. It's fine. But like, it repeat like it solidified that the movie wasn't so much about finding love. It was about finding yourself. Right. It exactly. was about a, a self-examination about that. Can a stranger show you what your worth is and right. what your life could be? And these two people who never met, even though there's kind of this like one moment where they kind of meet where they, you know, he sees her for the first time, but she doesn't actually know who he is, which is a very heartbreaking moment, oh, actually. Yeah. Um, and we'll get to that in a second. But a yes, the ending was just fantastic in that way as they're both going, he's going to go try to find his love. She finally accepts that, you know what? I'm in this loveless marriage and I'm unhappy and I need to go away. Yeah. And it, it's great how that all kind of worked out, um, in my opinion, because again, it wasn't, it, it it set home the point of the movie that sometimes it's not so much about love it's about yourself right and you do what you do what you have to do to make yourself happy don't forget about that yeah everybody makes sacrifices but at the end of the day you still have to be happy in your own life and if yeah. you're not then you have to change things you, you have to something. take it upon yourself you got, exactly that's lit that's ex that's exactly what it's about yeah, yeah. that's, that's what i took away from this film and i thought I thought that was a great way to end it. I'm happy they didn't like get together and it wasn't like a yeah. nice neat little bow tied on top. No. You know, sometimes movies like that work, sometimes they don't. I mean, we're going to talk later today about a movie that maybe worked that way better, but mm -hmm. for now, yeah. This is a uh, this was really great. So, uh I want to talk about some of the favorite parts of the movie for you, Ed. Sure. As sure. Mike Tina goes out again. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. This is the production yeah. on pizza time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, we're, is, we're working on it, guys. Hopefully it's endearing at this point, for the love of God. Uh, anyways. Uh, uh, one, one of my all-time favorite sort of like, not even just part, but like parts of the movie is Shake and Mr. Fernandez. I love that yeah. little... I mean, it, I, it's hard to call it a side story. It's part of the story. It's part of Mr. Fernandez's story, but... Every time Shake has to deal, like Fernandez has to deal with Shake, is is so wonderful because yes, it, he's the reason that 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 he's part of the re he's a big reason that he because okay, here's what I like about it we we only think that Ela is the reason that he's going to get out of his little like sadness in his life this little like you know old man old uncle vibe but no. There's also a part where we have to learn that it's not just people that you don't see or don't know that can help you. You know, that's what part of the big, like what I loved about this movie, that there's two sides that it's not just the people you don't see, like sort of like the therapy route, like people who aren't in your life, people that are faceless that, that you can find help with, which I think is actually really important for self-reflection um, or, or gratitude, I would say. But then shake is a beautiful example of people who like you're not going to get rid of people like face-to-face -face interaction right the answer isn't right. like alienating people completely you have to still deal with the people around you and right. that's what he represented like yes. someone there's still someone that you have to do and you have to grow out of that there's no yeah. that you cannot be if you you know no one essentially wants to be alone and to be you can't not be with physical close contact for that to be a thing you know you have right. to be with people and it showed that he also had to deal with that part of his life dealing with face-to-face -face contact and so right. every time you see shake with him man it's just so great because like he he's this 
grumpy man and he yeah. slowly and he's annoying the guy is a yeah. little annoying at first he is yes we all deal with that motherfucker we all deal yeah. with the guy Which, that's like please it, leave we, we both have had to train new people at work yes that's just before like, and both you and i are unhappy about it we because we've talked we've spoken about yes it. we've literally said oh I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Because we're please, please we're leave. not even old, but we're fucking grumpy and be, you know begrudged yeah. about everything for some yeah. reason. Yes. It's like why the fuck? Why do I have to yes. like? Why? Why do I have you? to do this? Yes. Why the fuck do I have to teach you? <laughs> Get your nobody ass helped me. Yeah. Nobody you know, helped we, me, motherfucker. Like we have a chip on our shoulder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so I could totally see myself in his shoes there, and yet it still showed me like people like that still have something to offer you if you just sort of can come around to where they're coming from right like they don't they don't mean bad and so yeah you, i love that moment where you read like he shakes as like you know what he has some integrity about him right he's like you yeah. know what i get it man all right yeah i'm not the greatest person alive but fuck you i i've dealt with shit too like i'm an orphan yeah. i've had to work I, I gave myself my own name i was like whoa that's such a line like yeah and in that moment he's like oh no oh, fuck okay all okay right. like listen I'll, my bad I'll i'm sorry you. yeah i'll help you and like yeah. not only that you're my friend like you're the only friend and you're like basically yeah, the only yeah. friend i have yeah it's such a beautiful fucking moment i like it i love that duality like i'm glad it wasn't just oh it's like people people in your life who don't know you are the only people that can get you out of your thing it's like no you still have to face the things in front of you yeah and that's what shake represented i love all yeah, this yeah, yeah. shake shake he's a great actor too whoever yeah uh what's his name i think i have it here oh go wow uh sorry i purposely didn't say Nawazid shake's name Nawaz Nawazuddin Siddiqui hopefully i think yeah He's that's fantastic. pretty good yeah, yeah. I, Anyways, I think that's pretty good uh um, i have more i have more but that's one for me uh, still, i'll go to you what what so did yeah, you i i agree i i think you you spoke very good on on shake so i'll take a next part because i don't want to like it. overdo it again but for me what like the mo moments that i loved was almost like the juxtaposition if you will of what ifron khan's life is and what Ela's life could become. I can call oh, yeah. how they're oh. both following that same path, but because almost of their age. like the age yes, difference. It's, it's like, yeah, here's the cost. Ifron Khan almost acts as a cautionary tale to Ela. And like for me, I really loved that whole bit of the movie. Because as you start to go through it and you start to realize, you're like, oh my gosh, she's gonna become him. She's gonna become I mean, bitter and upset. Yeah. And fed up with this terrible relationship that she's stuck in. And she doesn't have to. She's going to become like him, who, like you said, to, you know, break off a piece of what you said, he's shut off from the world. He just doesn't want to be a part of the world and he can't no. really live like that. And that's slowly what she's becoming. And it's funny and ironic that it's this man who's shut off from the world that can pull her out of it. Yeah, isn't that... And yeah. I, the irony, the sweet irony of that nice so story to me was the best part of it. And I know that might be a cop out because I think that might be the whole story, but I really, really enjoyed that part. I thought I was just kind of blown away by that. Um, yeah. And, and yeah, I, that that's probably my favorite part of the movie. Uh, chic, shake my second favorite part right really really great my third favorite part <laughs> is if ron Khan. yeah just yeah. all the acting he does when he starts to get the notes when he like opens the note and he like and his eyes get like super wide and he looks around making sure he's yeah, looking no for shake yeah, <laughs> he's, yeah, like, yeah. yeah he's like <laughs> yeah, when, when's this guy gonna come bug me yeah. is what he's basically thinking yeah. <laughs> um i love that that whole his he, I know he says he does have a lot of lines in the movie and a lot of yo in the movie, but to me, it's the acting he does when he's not speaking that Absolutely. really kind of elevates the performance and makes the movie, a, honestly, a must watch if you're an Indian cinema fan. <sighs> it is, it, it is top tier acting. Um, in rest general. in peace. I'm, I'm not sure if he got sick during COVID or what happened, but rest in peace, man, because that that's a huge loss in the acting community. Like that. It, everything he did like when he's on the bus and he's you know the ask him if he wants to sit and it like goes through his head that oh my god yeah. i am an old oh, man i'm fucking old yeah oh when no. did i become an old man and like it, those moments really man. kind of 
pushed it up for me. Yeah, yeah. That's no. That's he, my third favorite thing about. That I movie. couldn't agree with you more, man. Irf- Irfan Khan is. I mean, and here's what here's the thing about Irfan Khan is that he's actually made it fairly successfully in the American space. I've I, I've seen him a lot. I know who he yes. is. He's probably one yes. of the most uh, famous uh, Indian actors who've transferred over to American cinema as well. Yeah. And and still and yet it's like oh man I didn't we even seen see it as shit yeah. like this is like next level the I kind of the, the nuances of like his performance is phenomenal just the his body language the way that he the small micro reactions again to when he just the way he the differences in when he first d- uh, takes apart the food. And then yeah. between the first time he takes it apart and, to, and then yes. the subsequent things, you can just see the pep every single time. He just has a little pep in his step. Yes. Every little, it just every, he like puts a different, just li- he, it's so focused on like, uh, yeah. on, on those little micro movements throughout the movie. You just the first time he smiles, like it's brighter right. every single time. Uh, he just the way he, even in, everything about him. Changes. Even in the, they do that in the, in the color as well. I don't know if you noticed. No, every do do as he color? go through, yes, it's very grayscaled, right? Oh, great. But as he goes through, yeah. he starts to get a little bit more color. There's more, blues, more color. There's more greens. Yeah, oh, I miss that towards dude. like the very high of it when he that's says they awesome. should meet. That's as high as it gets, and that's how much color is in that scene. And great catch, just really well kind of set up direction there. That was really spectacular stuff. Well, it's, 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 it's subtle, but if you catch it, it, it just adds to it. Like. He's his day is like it's almost like his day is brightened up because yeah, of this. Liter- yeah. yeah, quite literally, quite literally. Yeah, yeah. and it's just you know, it's but- wonderful. It's just it's such a again it goes down to the very basic human emotion of like just seeing someone happy, like just mm-hmm. seeing someone finally just sort of like genuinely break out of the mundane, not no bullshit, just like a genuine reaction of like excitement, you know, in, yeah. in the in the regular cycle of life where it's like. Wow, this like really makes me feel good. I, I am like legitimately smiling again. You know, yeah. I'm, 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 it's there's a legitimate like a uh, smile, and I want to, I want to, and a laugh or, or a, a tear even. Just like even crying can be so like. I feel like sometimes even <laughs> someone who fucking cries like crazy. Um, <laughs> like why well, I feel like crying can get old. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, but everything yes. gets old after a while. Where it's yes. like and when when you do something. And again, you see it in the visuals in this movie too. Great visuals of just, it's over and over. The the train is a great sim- symbolism of yeah, reminder. Over, yes, a cycle of over taking you to the same places over, yes. over and over again. And then, it, it, so that even everything, even if something is like crying, can be just so like, okay, yeah, I'm crying again today. Who gives a shit? You yeah. know. So it's just like those beautiful blossoms of moments of that where it's like I'm yeah. finally breaking out of that is so wonderful to see because that, that's just ultimately what the movie's about. It's such a great tuned movie to that. It's just it's a great example of like when you know what the script is and you you you, you can use all the tools at your uh, disposal to just really accentuate that even in the most again subtle of ways. It's not there's no usage of technique here that is particularly yeah. absolutely fantastic. It's just right. very very simple. You know, yeah. it's that's something that everyone can understand. It's just a, it's 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 wonderful. It's just wonderful. Yeah. I, I I wanted to. And, and speaking of that, if we can, if I, if you don't mind, if I just sort of transition to something that I wanted to really quickly point on, please. There's no music. No. There's no mu- I'd like two, three, two or three moments just of of necessary music. Other than that, completely silent. There's just yeah. no music. What? That's how minimal it is. There's no. They don't even use music. There's no sign of like. Oh, this is like a movie. Like this yeah. is like something I don't want you to. I don't want you to leave this this movie thinking like you saw something that is is that that couldn't happen. Like right. you know, this is happening. This yeah. is, happens to everyone. It's happening to you probably. Yeah, it's just so great. You know? what did you think of that? Did you did you catch that too? Like I did not catch that. Uh, the of music. This, the music. second you said it, you're right. Yeah, there is no music. This yeah. is the first Indian film where you know, obviously. As we've seen so far, the the music plays such a pivotal role. But here, it was exactly. more so. You know, this is more like no. This is I want you to get caught up almost in the mundaneness that can be life. Yes, and remember, there are things that are that can pull you out. Like when he writes back to Elia one day, Ela. he says, "Ela, so sorry." When he uh, and he, he writes about fixing his bike outside, and Ugh. he turns Ugh. to the TV screen. 
and he sees his wife's reflection. And it's it's that that pulls him out and cheers him up. And he says he, he wishes he does it more. You know, like, yeah. I think it's this film is just, again, such a great slice of life film that it's like, yeah. oh, hey, everybody once in a while needs something to pull them out of the mundaneness of life. Correct. And that is important. It's important to work. It's important to be successful. Yes. But don't forget, there's still life to be lived out there. Yeah. You know, don't get too caught up to it. And there's so many like tiny reminders if it's between the notes or the, you know, the, the reminder of the, the story of auntie and uncle who has this <laughs> stroke and he just looks at the fan, which <laughs> if Ron Khan has this hilarious, like, yeah, he's looking he at looks the fan, fan like, making oh, sure it's still going. Oh. Also, just to, yeah. to, to, I know I love that transition to that scene. Did you notice that transition? Because like even before the scene starts, it cuts to the fan inside her father's room, and then cuts oh, to the yes. fan to bring us into his, his into room. the yes. into the uh, the cafeteria. Yes, yes. What a great just visual cue for that. It, it never cut. happens yes. again. Good catch. Really in the movie. Yeah. But it's a great visual cue for that particular scene. It's such a One, small detail, but it's so yeah. good. One clever edit in every movie. One so far. clever edit. Oh, that's a that's good segment. Need. That's a That's good segment, need. bro. Yeah, like one clever edit. edit. Such a clever edit. Yes. It never happens again. It never happens yeah. again. It's just one of those like <laughs> moments where like it works for that scene, scene alone, and it's just like, whoa, that's really good. It completely yeah. puts you into the moment. It's so great. Yeah. Never happens I liked again. It. Um, just to jump off of what you were talking about just now, uh, again, like it doesn't shy away from it, it. It's fully committed to keeping you into that moment. One of the things I, I also loved about this movie, to speak to the other side of that coin, is that it uh, to me at least for, i want to ask you if you felt this did you notice uh, how like it doesn't it's it's completely not just is it, is it completely focused on like the things that should get you out of your life it doesn't overdo focusing on the circumstances that get you there like it's right. not it's not about showing you what the sh like what shit could happen in your life because yeah. so much shit could happen to you who knows like we what we know is that like for example ela it has a father who has a father who is in a coma for 15 years, right? We never see him. We don't. Oh, no. You only need that shot from outside the room. We never go inside the room. You, right. You that was her need... uncle, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry, or her uncle. Um, auntie wait. uncle, not not her father. Her father dies in the movie. Oh, well, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, um, yeah you're right. Yeah. Well, I mean, both, right? Like, because in the, even in her father, you, you see it from the outside, don't you? But he gets like sick. I, I, I He gets sick, but you do get that. Yes, like, he has like lung so, cancer. To your point. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah, you get your you get your reminder that the mom, right? Even she's sick of it. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Either way, it's like the way that they again they don't. It, it could be easy in another. Oh, sorry, I didn't go to a duel there. My bad. It's okay. Uh it could be easy in other movies to be like we need to see, like we need to see these <laughs> moments to just like exemplify like why it's so bad for them. Like we have to show the audience like exactly what is horrible. We never get a flashback of like for example, we never get a flashback to uh to Mr. Fernandez's wife. We don't know what no. she really looks like in the moment, in those right. moments beforehand. See, we, it doesn't focus on that stuff. It doesn't right. have to remind you of like what shit is going on in your life. We all know what that's like, and we have right. all. It doesn't focus on that. It doesn't mat. It doesn't remind itself for like to remind you of that. It's only focus on like here's how you here's how you get out. I and I love that. I love that it didn't have to like exploit that of you as a yeah. person, as a human being, to to, to like remind you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember how like your life can be shit sometimes? It's like, no, we know how that feels. Yeah. And it, it trusts you to know that. It's so, yeah. it's just, a, it, I love that. I just, it's, it's such a great detail and a, yeah. a reservation from the director, I think, in my opinion. I don't know. In my opinion, yeah. I feel like that's a reservation because it's easy, I think, in other directors' hands to be like, let's go, let's go show them like what the dad looks like and how horrible that could look like. And maybe the moment that the, the wife died, right? Let's go back to a moment where we see that. Right. Not necessary. Don't right. need it. Don't need it. Again, I think you've said this several times and I've said it a, a bunch of times too, but it goes back to the, like the old, you know, trusted adage we've had about these movies. They're not interested in teaching, treating their audiences as dumb. Yeah. They're correct. letting, they let their audiences imagination carry them through the movie. They let their audiences imagination, they respect it, you know, exactly. and that, that's something that we, that's something we've lost in American cinema. And we've said that before. We're going to continue to say that I, I, as we keep, as we go through. But yes, these movies are the great. And as to your point, to jump off that, yeah, 
you don't need the extra bit of stuff. You don't need to see anybody because the performances can make you picture what it was like before. Exactly. Right. So, yeah, right. so that's, You're, I think yeah. I, I completely agree. Yeah. And yeah, like, um, yeah, I, I got, I got, a, I got nothing but good things to say about this movie. Um, hey, so the runtime was perfect. Yep. Yep. Hour 40. Hour 40. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 I mean, like tight. you, can, you can get into the trap of maybe making this movie too long, but no, the runtime was perfect. The ending was perfect to not have music behind it, which you so gracefully pointed out was perfect. Such a smart decision, a uh, really brilliant direction. And I just yeah. can't say enough about the acting. I can't, the yeah. acting was, I mean, you guys over there are so lucky. You guys have <laughs> gangs and gangs of just massively talented actors and actresses. And again, so rest in peace, uh, Ifran Khan. Uh, but boy, be everybody was, he, we lost yeah. him. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he, uh, what a phenomenal! I just like a legend. What a phenomenal just performance! Just one of the best. Just one of yeah. the best to do it. He's I mean, like so... we again. Here, here's another. We talked about Priyanka Chopra la last week, um, but like here we are again talking about like what I've seen him in the Amazing Spider-Man and Jurassic World. I, I hate that. I like the last memory I have of Irfan Khan was that he was in Jurassic World. Yeah, I mean, same. I hated that movie, and that's how, the disrespect the way he died in that movie. I was like, really? What the fuck? Okay. If everybody first of all the disrespect that everybody died in the movie was kind of messed up. Well, Colin <laughs> Colin like, Trevero was kind of a dick about how he wanted dick. to kill people I know in that like movie. the way people died in that was horrible I was I mean, like that's not yeah. necessary bro that's not Absolutely. necessary Absolutely Yeah Yeah so okay <laughs> um anything else to say about um, I get, dude. I, I get. This is one of those moments where, like, if you want to go frame by frame, I got something for every scene. All I can say is, I love. I, there's so many moments. I loved it all. Like, I love the moment where, like, Shake had to, you know, asked him to be oh, his, his witness yes. at his wedding. Dude, I, that's gonna be my wedding. Like, it's literally <laughs> gonna be my mom and my sister and her sixty family members <laughs> off to oh the left. Oh my god! It's literally gonna be my wedding. I love uh, it. I yeah. love it. That's the, so, yeah. uh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, that's obviously, so we good. you know we share a bunch of friends, and they'll all be there. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. it's still gonna well, be you know. just, if it's just for the family photo, it's just yeah, gonna yeah. be my mom and my sister. <laughs> the ratio that's all I got. Yeah, that's it. The ratio. You know, I, I'm, I'm a I'm a rare Mexican that doesn't have a big family. It's very strange. <laughs> um, so that's great. Um, yeah, I, uh, for yeah. me, the the best part was the the one of the funniest little side parts was the yeah. moment where it all comes full circle with for shake uh yeah. <laughs> where we see him cutting his onions and garlic <sighs> on the train home and then when yeah. he gets in trouble he goes why do all these files smell like garlic and vegetables and goes ifron khan and in, in, in the performance he is this kind of like the nonchalant. funniest moment in the movie yeah, yeah. what do you uh garlic yeah, well, and it's that, a, that moment, that's one of the, like, one of those moments that's so, so funny. That uh, you're right. You really I, like I, it. I'm glad you brought that moment up. That is such mm -hmm. a masterful, uh, performance that, like that, that little bit of acting there is so good. Yeah. It's so good because like, he's not, it's not, he's not overly trying to make it funny. Yeah. But like, just in that little pause that he gives, like, I, I don't know. He yeah. like, he doesn't. He like doesn't know what to how to get out of this, but he also has to because like he needs to save his friend. It's such a great oh, yeah. it's such a great the, performance. The art such of this movie and the specialness of this movie is more so the subtlety of this movie. It's what, it, so it's great so and subtle. It's so subtle. It just it's such yeah. a proof that you do not have to go overblown at all yeah. with the techniques of even of filmmaking has that that has taught us for years. Like it's you do not need to do that. It's all yeah. about your story and how you use the techniques, even in a minimal sense, to get your point across. That's all it's about. Yeah. You do not have to go crazy. It's such you don't a have to punch somebody in the face with the point. No, like no. You can trust the audience is going to be smart enough to understand. There that is no it's a subtle story. There's no major. Again, there's no major. Even even on a traumatic level, there is no major. <laughs> like my right. love, like you do this to me. Like there's no awesome yeah. moment. Right. There's no Oscar moment for any, yeah. like, you know what I mean? They don't have to be big. There's never a moment that you, the, the thing that they play right before when right. they're like, announcing the moment. They, there's yeah. no moment for that. Yeah. There's, it's, it's all just small. All so well. It's so, so well done. So well paced. So, 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 so scream loud. Beautifully crafted. Um, so yeah, Wonderful. I think that's a, 
I think that's a good place to wrap it up. Um, yes, I think fantastic it's Fantastic movie, a fantastic choice. We'll have another poll posted. Uh, probably, I post them after I post this video anyway, So or okay. after we post this video. So I'll post another poll, and you guys can vote again. And then, like I, we promised last week, the poll about the outrageous reaction that is coming. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I ran out of time this week. I had to jump on a flight. So And Ed is very busy at work because he yeah, was yeah, off yeah. for three weeks. So <laughs> we're all, we're, we're all, yeah. we're both playing catch up a little bit. But um, that's coming very fast and soon, guys. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. And we'll see you next time. Well, on hold, hey, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Do we what? want a little? Do we want to push a little bit to what we got coming right after this one? Do we want to talk Again, about? I feel no, 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 no. Oh, I. Hey. We should have talked about this before, but I. Yeah, I, I, I think it's too late now. To, now I feel like I like there's like a mystery. Okay, we're, cool. We're thirty minutes into the movie. Something's coming. Something's coming. Something's we hope coming. you like it. We hope we you hope like you do. It. If not, we hope another crowd likes it. I that would be the the best. Hopefully, we hope, uh, bring in, yeah. bring in, bring in a new, a more of the crowd. Let's hit. Let's try to hit that one k. Let's see what we, we can do. Let's see. All right. Bye. Thank you so much, guys.